you all warmly welcome on SLTV Law. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I give you a warm welcome on SRA TV Lab. As you can see, we are going to see something very important. Do you see this structure in a yellow car? These are what we are going to see. They are called spinal nerves. Do you get it? We are going to see the spinal nerves today. We are going to see their number, their origin, and we are going to see the introduction about their function. Let's go. Good. Let's start. First of all, the spinal nerves are 31 in number. Do you get it? They are 31 in number. I hope you remember well that the vertebrae the bones of the vertebral column are 30 in number. So, spinal nerves are one number more. Vertebrae of the vertebral column are 30 in number, while the spinal nerves are 31 in number. Now, let's see why. We are going to start from the cervical spinal nerve you know they are called the spinal nerves because they come from the spinal cord it's an ex spinal cord is an extension of the brain through the vertebral column through the canal that is into the vertebral column that is the spinal cord so those nerve roots they emerge out of the spinal cord through what we call the spine i mean intervertebral facet do you get it okay let's see so you remember the vertebral column has three main regions. let me show you from this there is what we call the cervical region there is thoracic region and there is what we call rumba rumba region this is the rumba region then we see the sacrum and the coccyx you get it mainly we say three region the cervical region thoracic and the rumba region now let's see from this now this is the cervical region and this is the thoracic region, the one that articulates with the ribs. That is the thoracic region. Now, below or inferior to the thoracic region, we see the lumbar region. Now, below the lumbar region, we find the sacrum. Do you get it? The sacral area, then we see the coccyx. Good. Now, we are going to see the spinal nerves from the cervical region so from the cervical region we will find eight spinal nerves do you get it normally this the cervical vertebrae are seven in number but the spinal nerves within the cervical region are eight in number let's see now this is the first cervical vertebrae or atlas so superior to atlas we find c1 or cervical one nerve root c1 now between atlas and axis or between the first and the second cervical vertebrae we find c2 or cervical uh, mean a spinal nerve to cervical 2 you get cervical nerve roots too. C1, C2. Now, between axis and the third spinal vertebrae, I mean cervical vertebrae, we find C3 or cervical nerve roots 3. 
Now, between the third and the fourth, we see C4 or cervical nerve roots. Four. Now, between C4 and C5, I mean the cervical vertebrae, we see C5. Do you get it? Now, between the fifth and the sixth cervical vertebrae, we find C6 nerve roots. Now, between the sixth and the seventh, we find C7 nerve roots or cervical 7 nerve roots. Now, below, let me show you clearly. Okay, good. Now, here is C7 or 7 cervical vertebrae. Below, inferior to it, between it and uh, the first thoracic vertebrae, we find C8. Do you get it? C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and C8. Those are the cervical nerve roots. They are 18 number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 cervical spinal nerves. Good. Now let's go to the thoracic. Now, let's see the thoracic spinal nerve. So, this is the first lip. The first lip actually articulates with the first thoracic vertebrae. Now, below T1 or the first thoracic vertebrae, we find T1 nerve roots or T1 spinal nerve roots. Now, so I mean inferior or below the first thoracic, we find the first thoracic nerve roots, but it is also superior to the second thoracic vertebrae. So between the first and the second thoracic vertebrae, we find T1. Now between second and the third, we find T2. This is T2. We go down between the third and the fourth thoracic vertebrae, we find T3. Between 4 and 5, we find T4. Below 5, I mean between 5 and 6, we find T5. Between 6 and 7, we find T6. Between, I mean between 7 and 8, we find 7. Do you get it? We will come and reach to the T12, T12, which is this one that articulate with the last, the lower rib, the I mean the twelfth rib. So this is the twelfth thoracic vertebra. So inferior to it, that is where we find the twelfth thoracic nerve root. Do you get it? Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, good. Twelve. Twelve is there. 12 is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, then 12th. 12th. The 12th thoracic spinal nerve it's inferior to the T12 or the 12th thoracic vertebrae, which is the opposite on the cervical. On the cervical, the like C1 nerve roots was superior to the first 
cervical vertebrae while on the thoracic it's the opposite now the the nerve roots corresponding or corresponding to the vertebrae it's inferior to it while on the cervical it is superior to it oh good now let's see the rhomba spinal nerve roots you know the rhomba vertebrae are five in number the same the lumbar spinal nerve roots are five in number good remember i have told you t12 or the 12th thoracic nerve roots it's lower to the 12th thoracic vertebrae so so it's between 12th thoracic vertebrae and the first rumba vertebrae so l1 nerve roots it's between the first rumba vertebrae and the second lumbar vertebrae so the second rumba nerve roots or l2 is between the second and the third rumba vertebrae so l3 or spinal nerve roots 3 is between the third lumbar and the fourth lumbar do you get it the same will come this is l4 nerve roots it's between rumba vertebrae 4 or the fourth lumbar vertebrae and the fifth lumbar vertebrae so l5 or fifth spinal nerve roots i mean lumbar spinal nerve roots it's between what the fifth lumbar vertebrae and the sacrum good let's continue into the sacrum into the sacrum we have five sacral nerve roots s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 on each side one two three four five do you get it one two three four five one two three four five so you know the sacrum it's made up of five bones but those bones are fused together do you get it they are not separate so we find here s1 or sacro one it's between the first sacro bone and the second one s2 is between the second and the third s3 is between the third and the fourth s4 is between the fourth and the fifth s5 is inferior to the fifth sacro to the fifth sacro bone now there we see the coccygeal nerve the coccygeal it's the one related to the coccyx you get it now how many nerve roots we have eight into the tongue the cervical um, we have eight into the cervical then we have 12 into the thoracic how many are they they are already 20 add 5 rhomba 25 do you get it add 5 sacro they are 30 and add coccygeal how many are they they are 31 spinal nerve roots next time i will prefer to show you what we call coda equina and all the spinal nerve roots that are made up i mean that make the coda equina and what we call conis medullaris so guys thank you for watching the video i hope it's very helpful so please don't keep this information just with yourself share this information to your colleagues and see you in another video next time may god bless you abundantly please support this channel by pressing like subscribe and the bell 
This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.